What up people? I welcome you to my brand new channel. This channel is dedicated to 3D, motion graphics and VFX. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video so that you're going to grow in no time. This is going to be my first video and I'm taking my time to make sure I make a very dope video. I just recently got introduced into the VFX world and motion design so i've learned so much that i want to share with you guys i've seen some mistakes others are making on youtube here and there so i have decided to start a youtube channel where i can start to correct some of those mistakes that i faced while trying to learn 3d motion design and uh, vfx so join me on this first video i'm going to show you how to properly import an fbs file into element 3d or after effects the reason is this without after effects there can be element 3d so i'm going to take my time i'm going to walk you through the process of using an fbs file in after effects or element we all know that as of today element 3d can only open cinema 4d files and obj files so what if you have an fbs file and you want to use that on element 3d or after effects I'm going to show you how to do that step by step so the first thing we're going to do now is to open the fbs file on cinema 4d but we're going to go through after effects that is the tricky part so i'm on after effects 2024 so i'm going to go to file new and i'll click on maximum cinema 4d file what i will do here is for me to save my cinema 4d file so i'm going to choose a name for the file so let me choose something random i can say world i'm going to save it on my desktop so i hit save and if you look at after effects this is the file i just saved and it's already in cinema 4d format so what's going to happen next is this after effects is going to open cinema 4d for me because actually this is a Cinema 4D file. Now, you don't need to have Cinema 4D installed on your PC for this to work because After Effects has the light version of Cinema 4D. So that can work as well. So what I need to do now is go to File, go to Merge, and select the FBS file. And I click open. And I'll make sure the materials is checked. And I'll say OK. So here is my model. I have successfully imported it. So what I need to do right now is save this file. I go to file and I say save. I can quit Cinema 4D. So I create a new composition. Then I need to create a solid for element 3D. That is where element 3D is going to live on. So to create a solid, so I can use Ctrl Y or I right click on this area, go to new and I click on solid. Then I OK that. Now it's time to add element 3D. I can do that in three ways. The first one is to right click on this solid. Go to effects. Come down to video copilot and click on element. Or I can click on this solid. Go to effects. Come down to video copilot. And I will see element here. And the third one, I'll go to Windows and make sure this is checked, effects and presets. Then I will go to effects and preset here and type element. And this is it. I'm going to drag it into my composition. And that is element 3D 
open so how do i know element 3d is open if you go to my left here you can see element so what i'm going to do now is to click on scene setup now it's time to import our cinema 4d file so to my left here is the import button i click on that and here is the world file so i'm going to click on it and say open so here i'm going to hit ok now you can see that my interface is black and that is because i'm using intel graphics so to make it bright this is what i need to do to my right i click on reflect mode click on disable environment and as you can see here is my model i can also play with the light and you can see that there's texture on this model if not you can come over to this place on this drop down look at the body this is the texture interior that's the texture this pilot a different texture and display a different texture if these textures were absent then i need to texture them myself so that's all we need to do here in element 3d so the next thing is i go over to my right and i say okay so i'm back in after effects i wait for my model to appear here let's wait for a while and here is our model but before we can move around this model we need a camera so to activate a camera i simply go to i simply right click here go to new then this is camera i okay it and here i can give it any name i want then choose 50 mm which is closer to human eye then here I need to choose two node camera and that's all I say okay and I go up to this place I drop this a bit down I choose the middle one so with that I can be able to move the model around I can be able to move the model around So this is how to import an FBX file into After Effects Stroke Element 3D. So from here now, I can uh, animate this, um, this model, build whatever I want to build with it. And the main reason why I like working with Element 3D is that rendering is superb, very, very fast. I can see myself waiting for Blender to render what I'll be doing with this model. So I prefer to work with After Effects because it has one of the fastest render in the whole software industry. So if you're just joining me, this is my first video on this channel. Make sure you like, subscribe and share because I'm going to be revealing a lot of mistakes i've seen online during my course of learning how to do motion design and vfx so subscribe so that each time i make a new video like this you'll be notified so this is how i'll stop this video i will see you on the next one